back with another video on food costing. <laughs> so I'll be showing you how we can compute gourmet cakes like this one. Ito po ay chocolate buttercream cake topped with marshmallow and a swirl of chocolate sauce. So yung gilid po niya meron chocolate sprinkles tapos shell borders din po ng chocolate buttercream. Okay, so um yung una ko pong video about food costing, ang feature ko po doon na recipe is sugar dough. So it was pretty easy. Um Diretso lang siya. It's just sugar dough. This time, we'll show you or I'll show you how you can price a cake that's like this. Marami siyang components. It's the the cake sponge, yung pinaka bread ng cake, filling ng cake, yung frosting, topping, finishing, and all. Okay? So, we'll also touch a little bit about the packaging. So, I'll also discuss that later. So, here is what we are going to do for this video. Four parts po siya. The cake that you saw earlier will have several recipes in which I will be breaking it down. First part is recipe. Ano-ano yung nakapaloob doon? So, first is yung cake mismo. We featured a dark chocolate cake. Then the frosting, which is chocolate buttercream. Chocolate sauce. And most cakes would also make use of simple syrup. Okay. So, recap ko lang yung diagram ng cake. Ito yung cake. This is 8 inch cake. Pardon the doodle. So you have 8 inch chocolate cake. Tapos you cut horizontally. Tapos dito sa gitna, meron ding filling yan na chocolate buttercream, some marshmallows, um, and chocolate sauce, and then another cake sponge. So this is cake sponge. Cake sponge. Tapos dito yung filling. The filling has the frosting na chocolate buttercream some chocolate sauce and simple syrup okay and you would notice kanina with the picture you also have yung um, top covered in marshmallows na may drizzle ng chocolate sauce Shell border ng chocolate buttercream. Yung sides niya also has shell borders. Yung baba. And then yung pinaka side is covered with chocolate sprinkles. So yan yung finishing. The recipe components are just these four. Pero isasama natin sa food costing is yung marshmallows at chocolate sprinkles. Okay? Second part of the video is the food costing. Ano, uh, market list po muna kasi ililista natin yung um, ingredient price. Okay? Oh, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Second part is the market list. Third is yung food cost. And finally is yung ating selling price. Okay? I'll also teach you how to go, go about um, doing promos like discounts. Okay? Or freebies. Dapat kasi meron tayong limit or we know our limit kung hanggang, kung hanggang saan ang kaya nating i-discount, hanggang saan or ano ang pwede nating gawing free for the cake. Okay? So, let's start with the recipes first. 
starting off with the dark chocolate cake. Ang isang ang isang 8 inch na cake would need the following ingredients. This is based on our recipe. Now, I will be I will just be listing the ingredients and the quantity that's needed. Um, I won't be discussing the procedure and all and how to make it. Um, if you have your own recipe of a cake, you can use that. And uh, for the costing, you can use this video as basis on how to cost it. But of course, kung iba yung quantities nyo or iba yung pagkakabili nyo sa ingredients, depende rin po kasi sa brand yan. So, mababago yung values. But at least, you will know how to price it. ba? Okay. For the chocolate cake, these are the ingredients that I use. Of course, you have sugar, you have eggs, salt, vegetable oil, evap milk, okay, and then your all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, your dark cocoa, and hot water. Okay. So, what am I missing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm missing an ingredient. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We have sugar, eggs, salt, vegetable oil, evap milk. Yep. All-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, dark chocolate, uh, dark cocoa powder, and hot water. Vanilla extract. Yeah. I always have 11 ingredients kasi. So, this is vanilla extract. Okay? The quantities that I will need for one 8-inch cake is, for vanilla extract, uh, 3 ml. Sugar is 250 grams. Eggs, 2 pieces. Salt, 3 grams. Vegetable oil is about 125 ml. Evaporated milk is about uh, 200 ml. All-purpose flour should be 250 grams. Baking powder, baking soda should be about 5 grams each. And dark cocoa powder is about 50 grams. Hot water, 200 ml. Okay? So, yan na po yung kailangan for one piece 8 inch cake so this is the dark choco moist okay so yan na po yun. for the next um, item that we need to break down into ingredients it's the chocolate buttercream and chocolate buttercream dalawa yung components niyan which is vanilla buttercream And chocolate ganache. Okay, so vanilla buttercream plus chocolate ganache is chocolate buttercream. Vanilla buttercream has the following ingredient quantities. One bar of butter. Sorry. One bar of butter. That was half cup or about um, 125 grams of sugar, two whole eggs, and 5 ml vanilla extract. Okay. Um, our recipe requires the Italian meringue procedure. Um, I don't use the powdered sugar buttercream. So, this one, we boil the sugar to softball stage and then whip it into the eggs and vanilla extract before we beat in the butter. 
okay so it has to be cooled down and foamy before you add the butter and then that's vanilla buttercream for chocolate ganache that i will be using for for this to make the chocolate buttercream i will need 75 grams of chocolate bar and 75 ml of all-purpose cream all-purpose cream okay so this is the quantity that i will use which i would need to frost fill and pipe borders for the cake that i've shown you earlier okay next is the chocolate sauce Okay, for chocolate sauce ah sorry this one this one sorry Aha, continuous po kasi yung video ko so hindi ako nagkakat so the chocolate ganache i will need 150 grams of chocolate and then 75 ml of all-purpose cream for chocolate sauce yan po yung 75 grams na chocolate bar and 75 ml na all-purpose cream sulat ko rin para hindi nakakalito Okay. The chocolate sauce po kasi na ginagamit ko is also made of the same ingredient. Uh, mas marami lang yung all-purpose cream or mas konte yung chocolate bar for sauce para um, pouring consistency siya. Pag marami po kasi yung chocolate bar, dyan po nagiging fudgy or nagiging creamy yung texture. Pag double ang quantity ng chocolate bar sa all-purpose cream, it's thick enough to spread okay if you want if you want it to be like yung pipeable na chocolate ganache mas marami pang chocolate ang kailangan nyo like kung 75 ml yung all purpose cream ninyo kung gusto nyo yung napapipe nyo into rosette na chocolate ganache ang quantity ng chocolate na gamitin is at least 225 grams so that's 3 is to 1 quantity. This one is 2 is to 1. And the chocolate sauce is 1 is to 1. Okay? So, pag sinasabi po natin yung 1 is to 1, 2 is to 1, 3 is to 1, yan po yung ratios ng mga ingredients na kailangan. Okay? So, we're done with the chocolate cake, the chocolate buttercream, the chocolate sauce. Yung simple syrup po, sobrang simple. 1 is to 1 lang po ng sugar and water yon. And simple syrup itself is uh, optional sa inyo as uh, the baker who would be preparing the cake. If you want to tone down the sweetness of the cake, you it's it you can you can leave out putting simple syrup in between the layers. Um, yung simple syrup po kasi if you drizzle it in between the layers, it adds to the moisture of the cake. And of course, it adds to sweetness. Now, for some cakes, kailangan po natin yung simple syrup kasi, especially for yung cakes na nilalagyan natin ng rum. Okay, yung spiked cakes like rum or contru or uh, triple sec. <laughs> so, for the fruity types of cakes, uh, you mix the liquor with simple syrup and then you drizzle it. So, yun po yun. Okay? The simple syrup quantity, if you're going to use it, is going to be uh, 100 ml, ah, 200 ml quantity. So, syrup, ah, simple syrup, 1 is to 1. So, 100 ml water and 100 grams white sugar okay you can also play with the quantity of the sugar or kind of sugar that you will need pwedeng 50 grams white 50 grams brown depende sa body ng taste na gusto mo for the cake for chocolate cakes I find it uh, more tasty pag yung syrup na ginagamit ko is either 
a combination of wash sugar and brown or all brown sugar so that's up to you as well so here are the recipe ingredients that will be used for that one particular cake so hanapin natin ngayon yung mga common ingredients we'll be listing it down and creating the market list for it so that's part 2 <laughs> So, part 1 pa lang to. So, now we're moving to part 2. We'll create the mar market list for this cake. Okay. So, listan natin. Magkano po ba ang vanilla extract sa market? Okay. And then, vanilla extract can be seen also and it will be used also for the vanilla buttercream. So, kailangan natin siyang bilhin. Sugar, of course, we will also need to buy it. Eggs, salt, vegetable oil, evap milk, all-purpose flour, which is APF. Oops, sorry. Okay. Baking powder, baking soda, uh, uh, dark cocoa, water of course we still also have to include water in the ingredient list so sa simple syrup po ang ingredients lang naman nun is water and sugar so compute na natin yon. vanilla buttercream would require butter of course mm, it also has sugar eggs and vanilla extract sa chocolate ganache kailangan natin ng chocolate bar all-purpose cream which is also the two ingredients that we will use for the chocolate sauce so sa cake na pinakita ko kanina ito yung ingredients na kailangan natin bilhin so magkano siya sa market ang vanilla extract daw ay let's see Vanilla extract, let's say, here. Okay. It's 150 per liter. Okay. So, may pinagbabasihan na akong listahan. <laughs> okay, so 150 pesos per liter. Sa market list, what we need to get is also the price per smaller unit. Pag sinabing smaller unit, Magkano siya sa smaller unit ng liter, which is ml. Okay? So, magkano ang 150 per liter in terms of ml? So, lalabas niyan is 150 divided by 1,000. So, sa isang ml, it's 15 centavos. Okay? So, we'll do the same for the rest. White sugar is 50 pesos per kilo. And, ang per gram or per ml, per gram or per ml, or per piece, value niyan is uh, 0 0.05 or 5 cents per gram. Okay? Eggs is 210 per tray, which is 30 pieces. So, lumalabas... Uh, 210 divided by 30, it's 7 pesos per piece. Diba? Mahal na ng itlog. Ang salt is 15 pesos for half a kilo. So, lumalabas 3 cents per gram. Okay? Evap milk, uh, yung yung uh, the evaporada that's around 26 to 28 pesos per can of around 400 ml so 28 pesos per 400 ml so magkano po siya 28 divided by 400 that's 7 cents per ml all-purpose flour is 50 per kilo. Naglalaro po siya ng 48 to 50 pesos per kilo. So, we'll put it 50 per kilo. 
So, lumalabas, 5 cents din siya per gram. Okay? Baking powder is about 125 per kilo. So, lalabas, it's 13 cents per gram. Baking soda is 65 pesos for 1 fourth kilo or 250 grams. So, lumalabas, 26 centavos per gram siya. Dark cocoa is 400 per kilo. Uh, ito po yung uh, price range ng Bensdorf or Hershey's na cocoa powder. So, that's what we use. The same with uh, JB15. It's around that price po. So, naglalaro po yan ng 355 to 400 per kilo. Ang current market po niya. So, for 400 pesos per kilo, lumalabas, it's 40 centavos per gram. Water is about 25 pesos per 3 liters. Okay, so lalabas. Hmm, zero point zero one or one centavo per ml. Okay, ang butter. Uh, you can use yung golden crown. That's that's also what we use. It's it ranges. 55 pesos to 58 pesos per bar. So, let's put here 58 per bar. And each bar is around 225 grams. Okay? So, lalabas, uh, 58 divided by 225. That's 26 centavos per gram. Okay. So, we extract the per gram value ng bar in case you have recipes that call for only 5 grams or 1 tablespoon which is uh, 15 grams ng isang butter. Okay. So, chocolate bar is around uh, 180 to 210. Yan. It's around 180 to 210 per kilo. Depende rin po yan sa brand. So, let's put it like 200 per kilo na lang. So, lalabas po 20 centavos per gram ang chocolate bar. Okay? And the all-purpose cream, uh, this uh, ranges from like uh, 55 to 60 pesos per 250 ml. So, let's put it 60 pesos per 250 ml. Lumalaba 0.24 per ml. So, almost 25 centavos per ml. So, yan po yung ating market list. Okay? Market list lang po to, ah. You don't need to add it all up. Kasi this is just, um, kumbaga sa problem solving, ito po yung given. Yan. Yung given to look for X. <laughs> okay? So, ngayon, meron na tayong market list. Next is the food cost. So, nasaan na ulit yung ating listahan kanina ng ingredients. So, ito yung mga gagawin natin. So, tapos na natin yung market list. Ito yon. Ito siya. Next is yung food costing na natin. Which is this one. So, i-compute na natin yung food cost nito. Kasi ito yung quantities ng ingredients na uh, nilista natin kanina. Na kailangan para dun sa cake na finiture natin. Okay. So, ito yung given natin. So, we will supply the values for this. So, 3 ml daw ang kailangan natin sa vanilla extract. That's 3 ml times... That's 3, oh, sorry, that's 3 ml, that's 3 ml times 15 centavos per gram or per ml. Okay, so 15 cents times 3, that's 45 cents. Sorry, sorry. Okay, medyo limited kasi yung aking uh, reach ng camera focus yeah okay uh, okay there 
Okay. Ang price ng vanilla extract, the actual quantity of ingredients that we used is amounting to 45 centavos. Okay. And then for the sugar, we only used 250 grams. So that's uh, 0 0.05. There. 0 0.05 times 250. That's 1250. For the eggs, 2 pieces na worth 7 pesos. So that's 14 pesos. Salt is 3 grams. Magkano ang ating salt is uh, 3 cents per gram. So lalabas ang salt natin is almost just 10 almost 10 centavos or 9 centavos to be exact. So, 125 ml lang daw ng vanilla, ah, vegetable oil ang ginamit natin. So, vegetable oil is 125 per liter. Ah, I didn't get to list that pala. 125 per liter. So, lumalabas, it's 0 0.13 per ml. Okay, so vegetable oil of 125 ml times 0 0.13 times that's 16.25 pesos of vegetable oil. Okay. For the evap milk, it's 200 ml out of the 28 pesos worth of 400 ml. Okay, so lalabas mga 14 pesos lang yung evap milk natin. Tama. And then the all-purpose flour is also 250 grams. Lalabas it's 12.50. Yep. Baking powder is 5 grams. So that's 0 0.13 times 0. 13 times 5, that's 65 cents. And then 5 grams times 26 centavos, that's 1 peso and 30 centavos for the baking soda. The chocolate powder or the cocoa powder is 50 grams times 40 centavos per gram that's 20 pesos okay 50 grams times 0.4 yeah it's 20 pesos so you already see sa listing ng ingredients natin kahit 50 grams lang yung cocoa powder siya yung pinakamahal na ingredient oh diba so 200 ml ng water how much is that? That's 0 0.01 per ml times 200. Magkano yun? That's 2 pesos. Okay? This is just the, the cake sponge that we need. Okay? So, how much is the total? That's 0 0.45 plus 12.50 plus 14 pesos, plus 0 0.09, plus 16.25, plus 14, plus 12.50, plus 0 0.65, plus 1.3, plus 20, plus 2 pesos. The cake is worth 93 pesos and 74 centavos. Okay? Wala pa yung filling, wala pa yung simple syrup, wala pa yung frosting. Just just the cake sponge is 93.74. Okay? For the simple syrup, meron tayong 100 ml na water. So, that's most likely piso. And the 100 grams of sugar, that will be how much? 5 pesos. So, yung simple syrup is worth 6 pesos. Okay, follow po. The butter is 1 bar, which is exactly 58 pesos. 
half cup of sugar or 125 grams of sugar is 625. Diba? Two eggs is also 14 pesos. 5 ml of vanilla extract is 15 cents times 5. 75 cents. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, 75 cents. And then the chocolate bar is 150 grams. So this is 220 grams times 150. 20 grams. Ah, sorry, sorry. 20 centavos times 150. That's 30 pesos. 75 ml of all-purpose cream. So, magkano yung per ml ng all-purpose cream natin? It's 24. Ah! Sorry, sorry. Okay. So, 0.24 times 75. This is 18 pesos. And then, for the chocolate sauce. Ah! Yeah, I'll total it later. 75 grams of chocolate bar is 15 pesos. Tama? And then another 75 ml of all-purpose cream is 18 pesos. This is 33. Oops. Sorry. This is 33 pesos for the chocolate syrup or chocolate sauce. And... 48 pesos for the chocolate ganache. Total of the buttercream is 58 plus 625 plus 14 plus 0 0.75. The buttercream is 79 pesos. Okay? Again, vanilla buttercream plus chocolate ganache is your chocolate buttercream. So, 79 plus 48, that's 127 choco buttercream. Okay? So, lista natin siya doon sa components ng cake. Food cost of the cake is 93.74. Okay. And then, syrup. The simple syrup is 6 pesos. The choco butter cream is 127. Chocolate sauce is 33 pesos. Okay. We also have uh, other items that we need to cost, which is the marshmallows and chocolate sprinkles. Okay. Ang marshmallows na nasa market list natin, lagay natin. This is 190 per kilo. And then choco sprinkles is 100 per 250 grams. Okay? So, how much is the marshmallows per gram? That's 0 0.19 per gram. And then, ang chocolate sprinkles po ay... ...40 centavos per gram. The marshmallows that were used for the cake, including the filling po, uh, let's say 150 grams yung na-consume natin. So, that's 150 times 0.19. That's 28.50 pesos worth of marshmallows. And chocolate sprinkles, um, 100 grams. So that's 40. 
40 pesos ng chocolate sprinkles. Okay? So, we add all of this. We add all of that and that's your food cost for the cake. That's 328.24. Okay? Again, 93.74 plus 6 pesos plus 127 plus 33 plus 28.50 plus 40 pesos gives you 328.24. Okay, so what does this show you? The cake itself is actually cheaper than the frosting. Diba? If you would look at it this way. Here. The buttercream is already 79 pesos. To frost, to fill, and to decorate that one cake, you need 79 pesos worth of ingredients. Plus, 48 pesos. Ang mahal kasi ng chocolate bar. Diba? Even if you get yung uh, the ones in the supermarket, lalo na. Kasi yung isang bar nun is around 40 pesos for 35 grams. So, sobrang ma mahal din nun kung yun yung gagamitin natin. The price of the chocolate bar, which is 200 per kilo, is Really, <laughs> 150 grams times 0.2, that's 30 pesos talaga. Wala na tayo talagang ma ibang ko compute dyan, kundi yun. Unless you get a brand or a supplier that gives you a discounted price for the ingredients, that's when you can lower the food cost. So, sa chocolate bar din and all-purpose cream that you would need for the sauce, it's 33 pesos. So, you see the difference po. Mas marami yung all-purpose cream or mas konti yung chocolate bar. Mas mura, pero the the mixture will be syrup or uh, liquid, malabnaw. For, for, a thicker, for a thicker consistency na pwede mong spread and to cover and for piping sa buttercream, you will need this quantity, 2 is to 1. So, that's 48 pesos. Okay? So, the cake itself is 328. With a discussed, um, simplified way of finding out the selling price, meron tayong sinasabi na times 3 or rule of thumb. So, that's 328 pesos and 24 centavos times 3, which is... Nine hundred eighty-four seventy-two. Okay, so kaya po pala, di ba? Nakikita nyo sa mga may cafe or may mga restaurants pag nagbebenta sila ng buong cake. You you seldom see a cake of that of of this look. Pakita ko lang ulit yung picture. That would be less than. 1,000. Usually, yung mga ganitong cake is around 1,1 one, one upwards. Yan. Yung mga ganyan cake, ba? It costs around 1,100 to 1,300. Depende. It depends on where you are. Depende rin sa pagkakabili mo ng ingredients. Meron kasing murang tsokolate. Merong mamahaling tsokolate. Merong mamahaling na sauce. Yan. So, dyan naglalaro yung price natin. But, based on this food costing, this cake should be at least sold at 985 pesos. Okay? There. 985. Ang supposed selling price ng cake na to. 
Okay? So, what about the discounts and the freebies? So, here's how we do it. You're supposed to sell it at 985 diba? The breakdown is this one. Again, magpapay tayo ulit. The selling price is 985 pesos. The ingredients is 324. Tama? 28. The, the ingredients costed us 328.24. Okay? For you to break even with this cake, 28, 24, 3, 28, 24. For you to break even with this cake, dapat yung overhead mo which is 328.24 and yung ingredients mo dapat hindi yan magagalaw. So, which is 328.24 ah, sorry. 328.24 times 2 656.48 So, you can't go lower than 658 ah, 5648, sorry. So, kung magkakaroon man kayo ng tawaran, huwag ka nang bumaba sa 656 or 700 pesos. Kasi, any lower, sobrang lugi ka na. Kasi ito, you treat it as your break-even point. When you say break-even point, ito yung balik puhunan lang. Okay? Balik puhunan lang na nakabili ka lang ulit ng ingredients para sa isa pang cake, tapos meron kang pambayad sa pamasahe mo, sa sa papel na ginamit mo, sa internet load, yan, sa pagte-text, yun. Okay? Sa tubig na nagamit mo pang hugas ng mga pinggan, yan. So, dyan mo rin kukunin yan. So, kung, kung meron ka rin tao na kinuha para tumulong sa'yo, dyan mo rin ibabawas yun. Let's say, meron kang dishwasher na ang charge niya is like 50 pesos per hour. So, maximize mo na siya sa 2 or 3 hours na paghuhugas ng pinggan. So, bawas na yan ng 150. Magkano na lang? So, 178 pesos and 24 centavos ang budget mo pamasahe. So, hindi ka na pwede mag-grab. Hindi ka rin pwede magpalala move. So, i-commute mo yan. ba? This one is supposed to be your markup. Yung pangatlong third is supposed to be your markup, which is uh, what I discussed previously. Now, in, in that video, marami rin pong nagtanong, paano yung packaging? Packaging! Okay. For customized cakes, uh, uh, customized cakes, customized desserts, may, may nabibili naman pong packaging. Ngayon, kung meron kayong gustong packaging na sarili ninyong gawa, you can you can just charge direct at cost yung nagamit mong material. Ibig sabihin, let's say, gumamit ka ng cardboard, ng stapler, ng scotch tape, that's all worth like around 40 pesos. Di, i-add mo yan ngayon dun. So, 985 plus 40 pesos. O kung gusto mo yun nga yung discounted mo, it's 656.48 plus 40 pesos. So, lalabas para mga 700. So, yung kung magdi-discount ka dun sa cake na pinakita ko kanina, hindi ka na pwedeng bumaba sa 700. Which is why I sort of am surprised whenever I see online uh, there are certain posts na nakalagay, oh, 500 lang itong cake na to. And then I see, oh my gosh, ang daming decoration, ang daming components ng icing, well, it's fine if that's if if that's how you like to price your time, how you like to price your hard work. Um, if you really can do away with 
what you are supposed to be paid for, then that's fine. Okay? Meron din ibang technique. Ito yung magiging break-even point nila. Pag nahit nila yung 985 sa pricing, yan na yun, tapat na yun. Parang, ang nire-release nila na price is, yun nga, yung when you see in the cafes or in, in other establishments, ang nire-release nilang price is 1,300. Para pag mag-bulk price sila, let's say, obigyan po namin kayo ng discount, instead of 1,300 sa isang cake, we'll price it at 1,000 po. So, discounted ka ng 300, pero they still satisfy their pre-computed 985 na rule of thirds. Oh, big secret. <laughs> so, ganyan po. Kasi, lalo pag establishment, or yun nga, yung may cafe na, marami pa po kasing ibang items na pinagtutuunan ng pagkagastusan. So, parang lumalabas, nagkakaroon ng pang-apat. So, yung 328 times 4, hindi siya times 3. Kasi yung pang-apat, Let's say, 328.24 times 4. One, yan, lumalabas. 1,3,12,96. Yung pang-apat na 328.4, yun po yung pambayad sa tax, pambayad sa local government in terms of maintaining the business. Kasi lalo pag may permits ka na na binabayaran, um, kailangan mo mag-issue ng resibo. Ang resibo po kasi, hindi rin biro magpa-print. So, it's around, at least like mga 50 booklets, could range from, depende sa quality, it ranges like 2,5 to 5,000 sa isang bundle. Tapos, hindi ka pwedeng, hindi mag-issue ng resibo. And when you file it, yan na, BIR, ganyan. So, you have the regular taxes that you have to settle. Iba yung tax per month, iba yung tax per quarter, iba yung tax annual, pati yung tax ng pag nagre-renew ka, iba yun lahat. So, lahat din yun, babayaran mo. Saan mo kukunin yun? Kaya nagkakaroon ng times 4 instead of times 3. So, yung times 3 po, pang ano po yan, pang start up, pang, pang trial or pang, pang ipon. Halimbawa, wala ka pang, wala ka pang permit, nag, you're still trying it out, that's where you can input in times 3. So, I hope uh, this, this information that I have uh, cited, I have given you, helps you a lot. It's, this is, this is a, um, let's say, a more, complex or of course it's lengthy it's already 48 minutes <laughs> of discussing just these four things so that's recipe the market list the food cost and the selling price again on how you are going to beef up your selling price like meron kang introductory price yan yung mga discount yung mga freebies at least you already have this uh this this ruler or meter stick ba that you can't go below this amount yan, eto kasi kung ito yung iyong ginastos yung oras na ginugol mo pati yung oras na pag-decorate mo yung lahat ng kailangan mo tustusan para ma-maintain yung business mo it's all here you can't go below this if you want to survive the business. Okay? So, kanya-kanyang style din po yan. So, like, if you also have these offerings wherein ang ginagawa mo is yung cake lang or yung uh, gagawin mo yung components lang and then you're going to resell it. Let's say, gagawin mo yung, yung 93 pesos and 74 centavos na cake lang. Tapos, magiging supplier ka ng ibang uh, baker na ang gagawin na lang is yung pag-frosting and pag-finish. That's also up to you. You multiply this by 3, 93.74 times 3. 
lalabas 281 ang isang 8 inch round cake okay so yung iba naman sinasabi oh since hindi naman ako magpapagod na mag decorate mag ano cake lang talaga okay na sa akin yung times 2 Again, that's also your prerogative. 93.72 uh, 74 times 2. So, ibebenta mo lang yung isang cake sponge na 8 by 3. No decoration, no frosting, no syrup whatsoever. And it's 187.48. Okay? So, that's it. Usually for freebies, what we do is, ano eh, um, let's say may trimming yung cake. ba diba lagi naman yan may bump, may trimming yung cake. Either we make cake pops out of it or cake fudges. And then if we do have the time and we, um, we do have the time and we are able to make it, then we give it. So, yeah, those are the freebies. Okay? So, if you have any more questions, feel free to comment below. Kung meron po kayong ibang recipe na gusto nyong i-costing natin, just let me know. You can direct me to the uh, to the recipe or post it sa comments and then I'll come up with a video to help you out with how you're going to cost it. So, for now, thanks for watching. Thank you for spending 51 minutes with me. Have a nice day.